Good morning, preschoolers. It's time for another circle. So everyone sit crisscross, take a deep breath. Hello again. I'm here with all my friends. It's good, so good to praise the Lord and sing together. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the King. It's so good to be together and say hello again. All right, we have lots of people to say good morning to. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Haynes. Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Cozy. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Ransom. Good morning, Emma. Good morning, Delia. Good morning, Nico. Good morning, Addie. Good morning, Camden. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Decky. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Garrett. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Noah. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Evie. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Reuben. Good morning, Asher. Good morning, Finley. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Lila. Good morning, Tia. Good morning, Beta. Good morning, Ezra. Good morning, Fletcher. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Oslo. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Walden. Whew, so it's another day. And now we're in our new month still. So um, let's get on our calendars, okay? Here we go. So remember, this is the March, but we're now in April. So we're just gonna fill in this one down here, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. Oh, sorry, I gotta get my colored pencils. So. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that would make today Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's right, Thursday. Okay, so now let's see if you can guess the color. Here we go. Purple, orange, green, pink. Purple, orange, green, pink. Purple, orange, green, pink. Purple, orange, green, pink. What comes next? Purple, that's right. Purple. Through, colored in, colored in, colored in. Okay, so now let's count what day of the week it is. It's super easy because we're so new in this new month. Uh, one. What comes after one? Two. You guys, so easy, so easy. I'm gonna take the snow away. Put it up. I know there's a little bit of flurry still, but I'm just gonna put it up as cloudy because I just can't see that snow anymore. Okay, so today is April 2nd and it's a Thursday. So yesterday I forgot to do green choices. Silly Mrs. Small, so we're gonna do them today. Feel quiet. So, throw my trash away. You know, this is sometimes really easy to do at school because it makes sense, but sometimes at home, we just leave our things around because it's easier, because we're playing and we're easily distracted. But we need to throw our trash away. This is a strong, hard one for the small kids. They always leave it on the coffee table or on where they were playing or next to the computer. And we're always like, guys, put your trash away. Play with my friends. This is a great green choice. And you know what's so special? Is your brothers and your sisters are your friends. Sometimes it doesn't feel that way. So I know that you're at home and you're not with all your friends from your class. So you can't play with those friends right now, but you can play with your brothers and your sisters. You can, and if you don't have any brothers and sisters, you can play with mom and dad. So we can still have friends. Friends is how, um, anybody that we get to play with. And your brothers and your sisters are gonna be your friends forever, no matter what class you're in. So it's really good to practice your green choices in your family. 
Um, you can also play with your friends on Zoom. So if you have Zoom classes or FaceTime, you can FaceTime with some of your friends and do things with them. You should ask mom and dad. I bet they would help you do that. So if you're missing a friend from your classroom, you can do that. And ask others to play. Sometimes um, this can work in two different ways. Sometimes you can see a friend in your classroom or a brother and sister that's not playing with you and they kind of seem sad or shy or maybe even grumpy and asking them to play and do a game with them might really make them feel better. Also, um, if you want to play with someone and they're doing something or they're doing a puzzle or playing a game, asking to join is a green choice. You can always ask. So those are our green choices today. Preschoolers, you know, um, it's so different doing circle because I don't get to hear what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. And so I wanted to just take a minute and tell you that if you're having some big thoughts about things that you can always ask mom and dad to tell me or you can comment what your big thoughts are about, about green choices or about being home all the time or about the virus that's going around. There's a lot of big feelings and big thoughts going around and normally in circle I have all these little people raising their hands wanting to share their big thoughts. And so it's kind of lonely doing this without you because I want to hear what you're thinking and, and I'm curious about how your heart is doing and I want you to always know that no matter what's going on, that God is always with us and he's in control of all the things that are going on. We're going to read a book next week um, called It Will Be Okay. And so there were some verses in here that I was like, hmm, I want to start reading them to you. These are verses to help you not to be nervous or anxious. This is one of Mrs. Small's favorite. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. It's Philippians 4, 6. So I want to talk about that really quickly. When things are different and, and not the same, sometimes inside our hearts we feel anxious. That's kind of like feeling like you have butterflies or... Um, you're nervous like you're gonna go on do a play or you have to read out loud or you're going someplace new you know that feeling you feel that's all kind of like tingly that's being nervous anxious is another word for nervous but God says that we don't have to always be nervous about anything um, because he's with us all the time and that we can talk to him and that's what praying is it's just talking to God and that we can tell him all of our thoughts and our fears and what we're thankful for, and we can talk to him about them. We can present those requests to God. That's what that means. And so that is what I want you guys to think about. If you're nervous or curious um, or maybe lonely or grumpy about being home all the time and not being at school and not seeing your friends, you can talk to God about that. You can talk to mom and dad about those things. You can talk to me about them. It's okay to feel those feelings. But what God says in this, in this verse is that you can present them to God and he will take kind of help you with those. That he's always listening to you. That you're not in this alone. You're not, you still have your mom and your dad and even Mrs. Small and Mrs. Smith. And that's really important that you always know that you can, that, that you have those feelings and that they're okay. Okay? So today, I want you to go back and review your letters, review your poems. I want to be able to hear them and see you do them. And I also remember it's the letter P this week. So this week, I want you to do, today, I want you to do a puzzle. Do you have a puzzle in your house that you can do and show me? I also want you to, if you don't have a puzzle at house, you can take a picture and you can cut it. So that's another project you can do. You can either um, take a picture that you've drawn and glue it on a piece of cardboard and mom and dad can help you cut out the pieces and you can build it back together. So I want you to make a puff puff puzzle and do a puff puff puzzle and practice your letter P. Okay guys, I love you. See you tomorrow.